So the usual people are complain on Twitter, Facebook. Okay, if you if you if you have not been paying attention to the news lately and Nintendo related news, you can, you'll know that Kazuya is the next character in Smash Bros. It is a disappointment for many people, especially Crash fans. Okay, every time I go on Twitter, it keeps telling me I have to log in. This is why people don't like Twitter anymore. Twitter sucks, but. Smash, these guys just kept complaining, crying, and whining. That was not Crass. Okay. And they're going to say, oh, but Crass is one of the most iconic characters in gaming. Okay. Let's look at the sales. I know people are, I know people going to hate this, especially Crass fans. Okay. And yes, you could say, but, but Crass still has one more chance. Okay. I don't think Crass is going to be the, the next character either. Okay. We look at game sales. Okay. By franchise size, yeah, and we have the best selling game franchises of all time. Okay, here, yeah. so we have Mario, Tetris, Pokemon, FIFA, uh, Resident Evil, some part for, and right, and yeah, Sonic, Zelda. I, I wonder what Tekken is under the right, selling games. Tekken's at 51 million, which is above Crash Bandicoot. Okay, Tekken has some more copies in Crash Bandicoot, uh, Pac-Man, uh, Street Fighter, Unsorted. Street Fighter didn't really sell that much? That's surprising. Maybe it's because Capcom doesn't want to update sales anymore, but Kirby, Bioshock, Counter-Strike, Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man didn't really sell that much. Contrary to popular belief, but, you know... I mean, like everybody talks about how big Mega Man is. How Mega Man is like one of the biggest gaming franchises in the world. If Mega Man was one of the biggest gaming franchises in the world, and one of the most iconic characters according to Mega Man fans, then his games were sold far better than 46 million copies. His games were still sold far better than the other things. So let's talk about the actual Nintendo Direct themselves here. So... I'm not really a fan of any of the franchises and games that they have sold off. You know, I'm not really. A, I'm not really. I never really played a Metroid game before. I know people are gonna be definitely giving me the mean comments in the sections, but I never really played a Metroid game before. So I know a lot of weekends have been saying that Metroid Five was real, but now it is a real game that is actually coming out. Metroid 5 slash Metroid Dread was the same game. They even put Metroid 5 in the trailer. And Nintendo stock is down. Down according to this, yo. Uh, yo. Breath of the Wild 2. They sold that. But you don't have, you have to wait until 2022. To play it, which I predicted that. Okay. I, uh, I predicted that the next character was not Crash Bandicoot. Okay, and Sa Sakurai is a man full of surprises. He he was gonna surprise us, and, he, and I was expecting that to be the case. So, Advance Wars, like, does anyone really care about Advance Wars? It's just a, especially it's just a remake. Like, how many remakes of old games do we need in Nintendo? Okay, we have a Skyward Sword remake coming. We have a new Wario World coming. I don't play Wario World either. Okay, Mario Party again. You know, ND Cubes, Wario Party is not as great as the originals. I'm sorry to tell you that. Okay, but. Life of Strange is coming to the Switch. Uh, like anyone cares. Okay. Uh, some old games are coming to the Switch. Uh, some Guys of the Galaxy is being ported to the Switch. Uh, yay. And yeah, a lot of Nintendo's announcements were not really that exciting. Like Monkey Ball. Or something like that. Some game called Monkey Ball Fatal Frame or something like that. Uh, Simagami Tensei. Okay. As well. Ports, okay, and again, Nintendo said this is for uh, this is all stuff for sep for the rest of this year. So there's gonna be no announcements for next year. No, like you know, oh, just remember, there's one more thing. They sold Breath of the Wild two at last. The last thing they sold. The only thing they sold for 2022 was Rabbit Mario Plus Rabbits. So yeah, we're probably gonna get Nintendo Direct later in the year. Probably around, you know, September to October or November. Wouldn't be surprised to get another one around then to show off titles for the first half of that, for the beginning of the year, for like February and, you know, January and March and some 2022 
So it's because we already have three major games for 2022. Actually, we have four, we have four major games for 2022 already. Whereas since Arceus has already has been confirmed for January as well, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, Splatoon 3, and Mario Bros. Rabbids King, Sparks of Hope, those three games, I can predict those games with these dates. I think Splatoon will come out in July. Uh, Mario Bros. Rabbids will probably come out in August. Like the first game of Zelda will be how, like, November title. Or March, like the first game. So that means we still have like six, eight more months, and I think the next, I think there's gonna be a massive amount of big games. New Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, I think, and why and now why was well, coming this year? New Donkey Kong, Kirby, and Mario Kart, I think, are also gonna be the last, the last few big games of the year, basically. There and yeah, the biggest BTFO of all time was the Nintendo Switch Pro. Yep. Where is the Nintendo Switch Pro? <laughs> Where is it? Then and they're all saying, where's the pro? That's because it doesn't exist! <laughs> oh my god, the Switch Pro! Oh my god, the Switch Pro! All oh, these guys, all Boombug, BTFO, okay? These guys said the Switch Pro would be revealed before E3. E3 passes, no Switch Pro. They won't even announce that treehouse. It just. Can people just admit that this console doesn't exist? Okay? This console doesn't exist. Okay, stop making up things to get people hyped up for other things that don't exist. But again, a lot of weeks said like GTA is coming to the Switch too, and that wasn't real either. <laughs> okay, and then we have another big why: <coughs> Earthbound coming on the Switch. Yep, Earthbound coming on the Switch. Oh yes, those rumors that Mother Trilogy will be remastered and remade for the Nintendo Switch. That, that, that was not announced, okay? I think that my Odyssey 2 will be like 2023, okay? But yeah, Earthbound is never coming back, okay? If I knock it, f is not coming back. But Advanced Wars, that was pretty surprising, I think, for everybody. Because that was a dead franchise, okay? Which means the Advanced Wars series might be coming back as a series of itself pretty well. But no, so that's pro. That was the biggest BTFO of all time. Now let's get back to the Spass community. The Crash Tards, you know, all the people who seem quest the same four characters. And, you know, Vodes of Ben, of course, was wrong. He was right about Metroid 5, though. He was right about Metroid 5, but Vodes of Ben. Oh, Vodes of Ben was wrong, okay? He was wrong about the next two characters, okay? So Vodes of Ben, of course, is a weaker. And he said the next two, I think he said the next two characters. Right before the direct. Were. Here. Of course, I will be at the ultimate fight pass two. You know, he also said Metroid 5 was a real game. But Vodabin Ben I don't think even I don't think Vodabin Ben did talk about Master Chief. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. I know he I know he talked about Metroid 5. So he didn't talk about the whole champions, that was someone else then. So if that's true, then it's then Vodabin Ben is in the queer then. It was someone else. No Ubisoft characters rumor. Crash Bandicoot voice actor boo rumor. <laughs> yeah, the concert week. Yeah, the concert week was fake. <laughs> Remember the concert week? Everybody said that the last two characters are guaranteed to be Monster Hunter. And I was like pretty sad about that. Because I was like, the, we, to, you know, that was fake. And yeah, we have this here. And yeah, Gino. Here. And yeah, so there we go. Nintendo Direct E3. That was, I also posted the reaction. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of like Wario well and all that stuff. I haven't played Advance Wars. I don't. And yeah, I don't want to play. I don't, I'm never gonna buy another Pokemon game ever again. After what you know, Game Freak did to the Pokemon franchise. It's gonna take probably a decade or so for for Game Freak to try to recover my interest in Pokemon. Resident Odyssey looks horrible. 
And 90s kids need to grow up. Crash Bandicoot is not the next character.